Nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem, amma ba'd, my dear respected viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has afforded us the ability to see these Mubarak days of Ramadan. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granting us to feed, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may his choices blessings be showered upon his most beloved Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And always a reminder to correct our intention that we are learning the beautiful deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is such a deen that is very practical that we need to bring all these advices that we are receiving from different ulama, we are sitting in ta'aleem of deen, we are hearing advices from different imams around the world, and we are listening to more, uh, more than often these beautiful talks of deen. We should make an intention to bring it in our lives so as to draw the forgiveness and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah is ghafoor, Allah ta'ala is rahim, and is waiting with open arms, and is waiting for us to remember him, and Allah ta'ala wants to forgive his servants for we are weak and we do wrong at any given moment and if we do err and we do wrong we need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah ta'ala loves to forgive and reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu an that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said by the one in whose hand is my soul that if you do not commit sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace you with the people who would commit sins and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will certainly forgive them. It is as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that if you do not ask for forgiveness, if you do not do any wrong, Allah ta'ala will wipe us off. Allah ta'ala will replace us with such a nation that will do wrong and Allah ta'ala will make them, give them to faith to ask for forgiveness. And when they do call to Allah and they do uh, make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah ta'ala will forgive. And Allah ta'ala says in the Quran al-Kareem, Ba'da awudu billahi minash shaytani rajim, bismillahi rahmani rahim. إن الله يحب التوابين. That Allah Taala surely Allah loves those who repent, love those who have remorse in their hearts when they do wrong, love those who call out unto Him and say, Our Lord, we ask for forgiveness, we repent from our sins, and we shall never return to it. And Allah Taala forgives. A Sahabi came to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi He says, "I do wrong," and ask Allah Taala for forgiveness. Will Allah forgive? Allah Taala say, uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi replied, "Surely Allah Taala will forgive you." And He says, "I do the same wrong again, and I ask for forgiveness." He says, "Allah will forgive you." And He says, "For the third time, I carry on the same wrong, and I ask for forgiveness. Will Allah forgive me?" And Rasulullah Sallallahu replied, "Allah Taala will forgive you." He says, "Allah Taala will keep forgiving you. Allah will." You forgive you over and over again as long as you turn to Allah it is you that will get tired but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not get tired of forgiving for Allah Ta'ala's quality is that of forgiveness and in this middle 10 days of Ramadan are known as the days of maghfirah where Allah Ta'ala forgives where Allah Ta'ala opens the floodgates of forgiveness where Allah Ta'ala seeks his servants to turn to him and ask for forgiveness therefore we should take advantage and read as much as far as we can Make Toba cry over our wrongs and mention them by name and ask Allah Ta'ala to forgive and surely, surely Allah Ta'ala will forgive all our sins inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala astaghfirullah al la ilaha illahu wal hayy 